Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I am super excited for today's video because I will finally be sharing a portion of my apartment with you guys. And today I will be sharing with you all my bedroom. I know you guys have been requesting a full apartment tour, but let's just face it. I am extremely indecisive, incredibly picky, and just an overall perfectionist. And I want my space to be as complete as possible before I share it with the world. So since I realized that about myself, I decided to just go from room to room and do individual tours and then, you know, some sometime down the line do a complete furnished apartment tour. So like I already said, I am super excited to be sharing my bedroom with you guys today. I am just so in love with this space. It is definitely my favorite room in my apartment and I feel like I spend the most time in this room just because of how beautiful it is. Now I do feel like there are still a few things I want to add to this room but I feel like I'm at a good stopping point to share it with you guys. I will do my best to leave the links down below in the description box to any of like the furniture or decoration pieces I have in my room and if I can't find certain pieces exactly I will do my best to leave similar items. So without much more for me to say if you guys are ready to see my bedroom then just keep watching. All right guys so here is an overview of my bedroom. I tried to wait for the sun to come out but it's just not cooperating with me today but I did want to go ahead and get this video filmed for you guys. So when you walk into my bedroom this is basically what you see so the overview I just gave you guys. To the left is my closet which we're going to skip over because it is a hot mess in there but I will do a tour of it when I do my full apartment tour. Then right here I have this like little turn to the left is my bathroom. Nothing too special in there. It's not really decorated. It's just like a functional bathroom for me. But I will make sure that it's all cute for the full apartment tour. So when you first walk into my room, I feel like the main thing that sticks out is my bed. So my headboard and bed frame is from Value City Furniture. It is a queen sized bed. It's like this really pretty velvet tufted headboard with the crystal detail kind of tucked in there and I think it's just so gorgeous. All of my bedding is from Target. The Euro pillows and shams are from Amazon and then the two leopard pillows on my bed are from an Etsy shop and I will have it linked down below for you guys. I try to smooth out my comforter as much as possible. I even let it go extra long in the jar but it's just super wrinkly so I really don't recommend this set from Target. I just like that it's basic and plain but it wrinkles like crazy so over my bed i have these three prints from society six the first one is a chanel perfume bottle in the center i have one that says no weapon formed against me shall prosper that is one of my favorite bible verses and i think it's very fitting to have it over my bed while i'm sleeping in my most vulnerable state and then to the right of that, I just have this stack of books. So on either side of my bed, I have my nightstands. For the longest time, I couldn't decide if I wanted to do all black furniture in here or all mirrored furniture in here. And after weeks of searching on Overstock, I came across these, which were just spot on for what I needed. They're black, but they also have a little bit of mirrored detail. And they also came with these beautiful crystal knobs. So it was like a match made in heaven. The top of the nightstands has this really nice ostrich skin detail to add a little bit of texture to the top. I really love it. It's also on the sides and then the drawers on the front as well. It also like has scratches and different scuff marks and things too. So I really love it. So on this nightstand, I kept it pretty simple and this one came together, I feel really beautifully. So in the center, I have this lamp which came from Home Goods. It is so beautiful. I feel like everything in my room is so beautiful. So I'm probably gonna say that a lot in this video, but I'm just obsessed. Like I've seen a lot of crystal lamps, but none like this. To the left of that, I have this glass necklace holder. This also came from Home Goods and I just put all my gold chains on there. And then to the right of the lamp, I have this rose floral arrangement, which also came from Home Goods. And then the tray under it, I actually got from my mom. So as far as this other side table goes, I'm still trying to figure it out. But for now, I do like how it is looking. So in the center, of course, I have that lamp from Home Goods. To the right of that, I have this little message board and you can find these everywhere now. I've seen them in Marshalls, at Target, at, at home. I got mine from Amazon a couple of years ago before they came like really popular, but I paid maybe like $10 for it and I just put the little message on there 
the best things in life are free and the second best are very expensive and then i did spray paint this gold at the time and i just kept it gold there's really nothing gold in my bedroom but i feel like it's just a nice contrast so in front of that i have another floor arrangement which is also from home goods I really don't like having two floor arrangements and especially two different ones on each nightstand, but it just helps tie in the red over here. So it's just there for now. And then to the left of the lamp, I have this candle holder, which I think that my sister got me for Christmas a couple of years back. And then underneath that, I just have a few poetry books and then a silk sleeping mask. So I have a pretty small window in my room, which is kind of upsetting because I don't get the best light in here, but we're going to skip right over that and go to my little glam station. So this is the shelf from Ikea that I have been trying to get rid of for the longest. You guys have talked me into keeping it and I'm kind of glad that I did. So on the top shelf, I have my Givenchy Antigona and right beside that I have my Speedy. On the second shelf, I have just this little candle holder. It matches pretty much everything else in my room, the candle holder on my nightstand my little trinket box and some other stuff too that I have that's put away. So I just have it out here. To the right of that, I have this Impressions Vanity jewelry box, which is where I keep all my jewelry, obviously. On top of that, I have a ring holder, behind that a trinket box, and then to the right of that, two pictures with my babies, Sugar, and then Sam, who is in heaven. To the right of that, I have a, another thing of red roses. I actually made this arrangement. It came with white roses. I plucked them off and then I actually plucked a few roses out of the little floral piece on my nightstand and put them on here. So <laughs> kind of ratchet, but I just wanted to put red roses with this vase because I thought it would look a lot more classic. But yeah, I'm rambling. So I have the arrangement and then right in front of that, I have another Whiskey Words and a shovel type of poetry book going on so i have the three on my nightstand but right here this one is like a calendar so every day you tear it away and it reveals another poem and i keep mine on january 10th because i really like this poem so yeah to the right of that i have these two boxes which i actually had these boxes before i had the etsy pillows on my bed so it just kind of worked out but i just keep like random like junk in those boxes so on the third shelf, I have this acrylic box with all my SLGs, so my Louis wallets, card holders, pouches, cosmetic bags, all that good stuff. So I can still see my stuff, but it's still in like one place organized. And then to the right of that, I have my Neverfull. And then in front of that, I have my Felici, which is definitely my favorite bag. And then on the bottom row, I have my Bubblegum Pink MCM backpack. And then to the right of that, I have this little basket here. Now, I know you guys are going to comment and say, aren't you worried your dog is going to tear up your backpack? And I think what helps is that I have this little basket right here. I've had this basket forever. I don't know where it's from. I think my mom got it for me in like middle school. But inside of it, I keep sugars like little outfits and clothes and she hates clothes so i think that since her stuff is right here and she knows it she just kind of stays away from this whole area so i'm pretty happy about that and then last but not least to the right of the shelf and in front of my bed is just my tv on this little black table i eventually want to get a dresser and i'm thinking of just getting something basic from ikea maybe putting like some crystal diamond knobs on it but for now this is what I'm working with because I don't really even watch this TV anyway. And one more thing I forgot about, Sugar's little bed. But this is not even always in here. A lot of times it's in my living room or pretty much just wherever I'm sitting at. Sometimes in the bathroom too. So that moves. And if you guys know of any like cute black dog bags, definitely let me know down below in the comment section. Because I do want something that kind of matches my room a bit more. All right, guys, so that was my entire bedroom tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's still a work in progress. I do want to add some more stuff to like the walls and possibly add maybe a little black ottoman in front of my window. I definitely know that I am not finished with this space. This is just my starting point. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. All the links to shop my furniture and decor, at least the stuff I can find online, will be down below in the description box be sure to give me a thumbs up before you go and also subscribe if you haven't already love you guys so much and i will see you in my next one